this video segment, I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to punch holes and set eyelets using the scrapparatus. We're going to start with punching some holes. And I could do cardstock and I could do chipboard, but I'm going to go for leather so I can show you what this can really do. Just make sure that you have your stomp stone and your stomp pad underneath your surface at all times. Then you're going to choose the tip that you would like to use. In this case, I'm using the 1 8 inch hole punch. And what's unique about this hole punch is it's curved on the inside, so you're not going to get all those annoying paper jams that you have to dig out. You're going to put it on your work surface and make sure that it's fairly flat to your surface. And then you're just going to do the quick pull and release. Okay, and leather's a little thicker, so I'm going to do a couple pull and releases. And you can see that we are all the way through that leather with just two little pull and release clicks. Should we set some eyelets? I'm going to use cardstock for this one. And I'm going to go with a bigger eyelet. So I'm going to use the larger tip. And then I'm going to again grip it, position it. And with the cardstock, you probably only need like a quarter of a pull. And you can see that that will go all the way through your paper. You're going to choose a tip that is the right match for your eyelet. And just make sure the tip is positioned inside the middle of the eyelet. And you're going to pull and release. And this one's probably going to need a couple. Pull and release. And you can see that that eyelet is set perfectly. Now if you're really picky about the underside of your projects and you want to smooth that out a little more, you can just switch out and put your stomper tip on. And then you can make it look prettier. Okay, and I'm going to show you just for fun. We're going to do a smaller one. I'm going to go for a smaller tip. Hardly need any pressure on this one. Goes right through. Put the eyelet in. This time I'm going to use a, the rounder tip. Let's see if I can do this in one. Do you think we can do one? Pull and release. Oh yeah. One. We'll set an eyelet. Here are some samples of things that we've used the eyelets on. You can see this one went through a couple layers of paper. And this one was used with our alphabet die to do a cute little link title. So you are only limited by your imagination. And pretty soon you're just going to be looking for projects to use this with.